Well, today um, I need to add some accessories to the inside of my truck. And for those who may know, know, and for those who do not, um, I'm gonna show you guys something here. So under the dash, you can kind of see that yellow connector right through there. You come up under the dash. So up under the dash, you'll see this yellow box. Um, they are in different uh, years of trucks. Uh, mine is an 07. So if you look up under the dash, it's usually a black cover over top of this. Um, there's three connectors up top here. And these are the ones that we're interested in. Uh, one of them is for trailer wiring. So if you ever put a trailer plug in here, you're familiar with this. If not, um, I'm gonna be using, I think this one here, or it's this one. It's one of these two. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this one. And that is called the mid back, the mid back B E C connector. Um, and if you look, I got this diagram here. And basically it's just a six wire plug uh, with different functions that are all fused. Um, I think it's like bust electrical center or connector. I don't remember it off the top of my head. If you're lucky, um, you can find these pigtails pre-made um, like off Amazon or maybe eBay or you know an upfitter or somebody might have this. Um, if you can't find that, then you gotta go shopping. And basically what you need is the shell and then you need the pins for the inside and that's what i have here so this is the shell these are the pins um you can see the connector is labeled here and the terminal is labeled here and if you go i had to go to digikey or no sorry mouser for this and you can look up both these part numbers and uh you will get them and you can see like right here is that one part number the dash L just stands for that these are loose. They sometimes come in a row, so you just break them off as you needed. Um, so you'll need that, a few of these pins, um, some 16 gauge wire. Again, I just went on Amazon. Uh, nice flexible type wire. Uh, you're gonna need strippers, anything will do. I like the strip like that. Um, I had these ratcheting style uh, crimpers but I found they didn't work nearly as well. So I had to go on Amazon and buy another pair that were non-ratcheting. And basically what I found was is that the, the lips in here and stuff worked a little bit better for these connectors. So what I'm gonna do um, is build the pigtail for this and I'll show you what the purpose of it is. And basically, if you look here, um, you can see like pin F. So basically you're looking at this as if it's the backside, so this is F. That'd be your ground, and then they go from there. So you have hot at all times, which would be basically like a just a typical 12 volt battery connection, hot accessory run. So on these trucks, you have um, off accessory and then on start. So the accessory run is basically just key over once. Hot run start is key over twice. Um, and then hot at all times again is another uh, battery. So you have two hot batteries at all 12. So you have 12 volts here at all times from, from the battery. And then you have your hot run start and hot accessory run. And I'll show you how the voltages work on that once we have the pigtail done. So um, pigtail is pretty easy to build. I'm just gonna take, so if we say our ground is black, I'm gonna take our black wire. So black wire, just strip a little bit off the end. Like so. So this is the connector here. You can see it's got two tangs here, two tangs there. And basically what I do is I trim off enough 
because these two back ones go over the, the sheathing. So you want to make sure that this isn't too long so that it connects over the sheathing and then these two get the wire. So you can see on this one, I'm not sure on the GoPro, it's too long. So just trim a bit off, put over the sheathing, and now it fits. So now I just take my crimpers, and these are 16 gauge. So I just put in the 16 gauge hole. And basically, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but um, one side's got a little mountain peak on the bottom and then the other side is kind of curved. Okay, so you can see I had to bend that in a bit. The end of these players just have this little flat spot, so I just squeezed it. And now when I stick it in the hole, You can see how it's going up and then eventually what will happen is these two little peaks at the top will cause them to basically curl over. So if I just hold that and I put my end in here. Sometimes it takes taking your tongue to stick it in the right way and then you'll get it. So then it basically just fits in there nice and snug like that. And I can take my crimpers. So there it's getting ready to crimp. And you just squeeze. And it crimps down those inside ones. So that's good. Now these ones here, I actually got a little messed up here. So you can see it says seal and then your crimps so the crimps are for these two inside little tangs here and then the seal is for this thick back one so then what you do is you can see here it says seal small and seal big so depending on which one you may have to do it for both so i put in the seal and sometimes i just got to play with it just the right way Basically, it wraps itself around that wire and it's good. So now, we take our six pin casing here. So this is the back side where it slips in. So in our diagram, this is F. So this one here would be F. So I just take my, my cord and there is a right way. It's kind of hard to see down in there, but there's a little tang. There's a hole on top here, that tang goes into there. So we push this in here. Here, click, and it's seated. So there's your first wire done. Now, what you can do if you want is you could take some um, shrink tube and stick it on there and shrink it down and make that all nice and clean. But it's gonna be honestly inside a vehicle, so I'm not too concerned. So there's one wire done. So I got five more to do. So I'm gonna do those five and then we'll come back and then I'll show you how this all fits together and works. Okay, so if you look up top, you can see I got my plug in that far left spot there. So that far left one on the 07 is for the uh, power connection. And now that I have that, if I take my test probe, so, got it grounded out. And I was incorrect on the wiring here. So, on this chart, uh, the hot run start is the one past the accessory, and the hot accessory run is in the accessory. And yeah, I'll show you that here. So, if we just turn my light a little to the left. So, if I stick this up in the yellow, You'll see there's no light. I turn the key to the accessory. Oh, let's put it on the yellow. 
So there's the yellow. So you can see it's got power and the accessory, key off, accessory on. So it's got power on the yellow in all three positions. Um, but if I put it to the on position and I crank, you can see how the, tur the, the light turns off. So in some situations, you don't want that loss of power for devices because, you know, if it goes through a boot process or startup sequence, um, when you turn your ignition like that, then basically it cuts the power and it has to start over. So if we put it onto the orange, or orange, no, uh, pink. Let's get it better in there. Okay, so now we're in the pink. So this is ignition off, accessory, still nothing. Now we're in the run position, and if I crank, you can see the light stays on. And you want that, because like I said, in some devices they go through a boot sequence, and so like think of it as a computer, right? If you have a computer and you're starting it up and you pull the power plug out, it's gonna reboot your computer when you put the cord back in. Same thing here. Um, I'm putting an accessory into my truck where if I do have it in the uh, crank where it kills the power between you know that run position, it causes, the, it causes a reboot. So I need to have it um, on that pink wire uh, yeah, the pink wire so that it will um, always stay on even though I'm cranking. So that's what I'm doing now. But now I got to try and pull that out because what I want to do, what I need to do now is I have this adapter right here, which has three wires, a red, white, and black. So you get your battery, your switched, and your ground. So this will go to the ground on the harness, battery will go to an orange, this white will go to that pink. And so then once I have this, then I can hook up my device that I need to put into my truck and everything will be good. Um, what I plan to use is these connectors, just these little brass bullet connectors. Um, I was going to put another Deutsch connector on the end, but between the cost of the Deutsch connector, the pins, the crimping tool and everything else, I'm like, not for now, I'll do it easy. I've kept all my wiring harnesses long enough that if I do decide to put a Deutsch connector on it, I can. Um, the one nice thing about a Deutsch connector is they are, the pins are quite flexible and movable. So, um, but I won't make worry about that right now. So now what I'm gonna do, cut um, these two off here. I'm gonna try and pull the connector out of the truck because I gotta do the rest of the terminals on the other end. And then once I have that, this connector will be done and I will be able to um, get the device in my truck and get that running. So uh, I'm gonna try and get that out and then I'll show you these other connectors. Okay, so this is how that harness now looks. So there's the adapter that goes into the uh, connector under the dash, comes down, bullet connectors joining up the three lines that I have. Black is ground, pink is switched, orange is battery. Goes down to my Deutsch connector here. So now I got this solid connector. So now, go back to my truck. Let me crawl up under my dash. in for the last time. So see it's plugged in up there. Like that. Um, I've left the yellow and this orange uh, free hanging for now because if I ever need another 12 volt battery and an, and an actual accessory I have access to that. But here's my pigtail for my device. So if we take this, we know the black is ground and that's good. And so now, if 
we look, there's pins inside, so I take this, key in the ignition, and on the red pin, my light here, uh, red pin, this one here, you can see, probe lights up, uh, white on the bottom, White on the bottom. Nothing. To accessory. White on the bottom. Still nothing. One more tick. And we got power. So there's that. Now, earlier I said um, that there is a cover, and that cover looks like this, which I found was just buried in the back of my truck. So it just looks like this, just a little plastic cover up under the dash. Um, since I have my harness, um, you will notice that there's cutouts all through this thing. There's one there, one of my finger up there. Um, and that's basically so, uh, when I put this cover back on, um, give me a second, um, I'll put this cover on and then I'll show you guys what it looks like up there. So here's what it looks like, that cover. So if you ever look up there and you're wondering what it looks like, that's it with the cover. There's usually a nut off that stud which holds it down. There's two clips on the side. Um, and so once you have that cover off, then you get access to that. So that, is basically the GM SEO uh, mid M back mid back connector that you can add power and ground uh, to these vehicles and either not use these, which I mean they're not bad, um, but I prefer not to use them, um, or you know going directly to um like your battery or your ground or just pushing wires into fuse boxes so um i will list the part numbers in the description as well as the um information on the crimpers and the wire and all the parts i used in this um the biggest cost for me was until i found this diagram i didn't know what the actual connectors and the plug was uh once i had the diagram then it was easy to find i spent a little bit extra than i needed to uh, through Moser to get those parts, but once I had the right ones and everything was fine. So hopefully uh, This will you know if you have one of these trucks and you're looking at power uh, For doing stuff like this, you know, maybe this will give you some uh, better direction So you're not just you know using fuse taps or going to your battery to your ground and you can just go switch directly to this box under the dash But uh, for now, I'm gonna wrap this one up. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one